This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a benchmark comparison between the Google Nexus 7 and the new iPad mini because these two tabs are really gonna be compared against each other out the wazoo. So I wanted to do a quick little benchmark test and give my overall impressions about how I feel about the speed of these two devices. As far as specs, the iPad mini has a dual core A5 processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, and have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and it is running iOS 6, where the Google Nexus 7 has an NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad core processor, has one gigabyte of RAM, has six gigabyte worth of storage and is running Android 4.1.2. So before I started this benchmark test, I restarted both devices and I made sure no applications were running and then I launched Geekbench 2 on both the devices, which is a very popular benchmarking application that's available for iOS and Android. So I started on Geekbench and I let them go and it took about 30 to 45 seconds for them to complete these benchmarking tests. The Google Nexus 7 did finish first, if you just wanted to know that. But you can see from these scores that the Nexus 7 basically doubled the performance of the iPad mini, really smashed it in this benchmark test. That quad-core processor, that extra 512 megabytes of RAM definitely came in handy. So it just really kind of killed the iPad mini as far as specs. And the Nexus 7 being $130 cheaper, that is something impressive. Now, when I go to use both of these devices, I feel that the OSs are pretty similar as far as speed and performance. Uh, neither one of them really lags on me at all. I would say the iPad mini is just a little bit snappier as far as multitasking and jumping in and out of applications and things like that, as I showed you here when I'll open up Dead Trigger and stuff like that. But I feel that uh, both the OSs are pretty even. Now, this is not a total in-depth comparison between both of these tablets. I'll be doing that in another video here a little bit later on. But I just want to give you a sense of the type of horsepower that both of these tablets possess, especially because the Google Nexus 7 is $130 cheaper, but seems to have better internals than this iPad mini. Now when it comes to real world performance things get a little bit closer because iOS has tons and tons of tablet ready applications that take advantage of the hardware better than what the applications that are on the Google Nexus 7. So I just feel that the Nexus 7 so far I see that it definitely has the benchmarks and the, and the hardware to prove it but the applications may be lacking a little bit behind the iPad mini. But I'll be, again I'll be doing a more in-depth comparison between both of these going over everything from the OS to the cameras to everything between the two devices in another video so stay tuned for that. But now before we have out here is going to take one let's look at a sponsor for this video today's sponsor is netflix if you didn't know netflix can stream movies and tv shows to your tv set your computer your cell phone your tablet via the netflix application it's also available on the xbox 360 the playstation nintendo Wii. almost everything now has a netflix app for you to be able to watch all the tv shows and movies that you want to anytime that you want to so if you want to go ahead and try out netflix you can go to netflix.com forward slash soldier and get your free trial membership again that's netflix.com forward slash soldier Anyway, guys, leave a comment down below what you think about this quick little benchmark comparison between these two tablets and these top mini tablets out there. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.